If Gaddafi does not comply with the resolution, the international community will impose consequences. Tonight, the United States of America makes the following demands on the Taliban. Iraq must withdraw from Kuwait completely, immediately, and without condition. American presidents have a long history of issuing threats and ultimatums. As military and political analysts look for historical parallels to the current situation in Syria, the military engagements seen as successful tend to have had limited and clear objectives. Our objective in Kosovo remains clear, to stop the killing and achieve a durable peace that restores Kosovars to self-government. In Kosovo, a bombing campaign was enough to make Yugoslav forces withdraw, Kosovo's often cited as a successful military action. However, the bombing campaign there lasted 78 days, and today Kosovo is still protected by United Nations forces. A red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. In Syria, President Obama has said the goal of military action would be limited, stopping the Assad regime from using chemical weapons again. But the Obama administration's own diplomatic goals are more ambitious, a negotiated transfer of, quote, full executive authority to a post-Assad transitional government. And unlike Kosovo, the air war being planned for Syria is not intended to drive a dictator to the negotiating table. Even a military success would not achieve the administration's larger goals.